It's cold. I'm tired. It's Friday. Should we do Friday's thought, eh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today? It's an absolutely freezing evening here in the workshop. It's time to go home. I'm getting picked up soon, which is, uh, which is awesome. If you all ever worry about me drinking and driving, I don't. I don't even have one and drive. Michelle's coming to pick us up. So that's nice, isn't it? Eh? Normally I'd bike, but obviously with the way the weather is, it's a bit fresh at the moment. It's, um, we've really struggled this week to keep the workshop heated. I think the most we managed to get it to is about nine degrees. It obviously sucks because we can't do any gluing up or anything like that, but what can you do? We, I think second or third winter here, it's not normally too bad. We've had days when it's or nights when it's been like minus 10 and then it gets up to like five, six in the daytime. We've had two weeks solid now below zero, night and day. Night, it's got down to like minus six, minus eight, plus wind chill. Uh, daytime, it's got down to like uh, minus one, minus two. And we're out in the fields. I don't know if you've seen, we haven't got anything for like 30 miles. So when the wind blows, it gets freezing here. Absolutely Baltic. I think I put the thing, uh, put the thermometer out the other night and it went like minus 15. So just, it's winter though, right? What can you do? You can't moan about it. Well, I mean, I can moan about it. I'm clearly moan about it, but I don't really, can't really fix anything with it. I haven't really got a Friday thought for you today. I came up with one, popped into my head. I woke up in the middle of the night, popped into my head and thought that'd be awesome. I did write it down and um, I've spent the rest, like the last three or four days trying to remember what it was. I can't remember. So yeah. It's all fun and games, isn't it? Um, yeah, no Friday thought, nothing insightful, no rubbish, no, well, there's a lot of rambling, but, but yeah, I, I wanted to do a video, but I didn't know what to do the video on. So I thought we'll do the video on you guys, all right? So it's always, I always sit here and moan or whinge or like talk and try and give my thoughts on stuff. How about you guys tell me how your week has been? Have you had a good week? Have you achieved anything? I always wrap my achievements up. That's sort of like how, I, how I've done. Have I done well? Have I done well that week? I can sit there and go, yeah, I've ticked that box, tick that box, tick that box and done all these projects. So yeah, I've had a good week. Have you had a good week? Have you achieved a lot? Have you had fun? Have you enjoyed yourself? Have you, you spent any time with the family this week? Have you just been working? Oh, I've just been working. But Christmas is coming up. Oh, there's another one. What is Christmas to you, right? I Obviously the festivities, there's the meaning of Christmas, all of that stuff aside, and that is important. What is Christmas for you? So Christmas for us is a time where we can um, take stock of where we've been, like what have we got done through the year, where we've done well, where we haven't, where we think the market is gonna be next year, where it isn't, because let's be honest, we're coming into, probably coming into a recession, so it's gonna suck. Because self-employed always get hit the hardest, but what can you do? Just is what it is, so we just need to try and find a way around it, don't we? We made it through COVID, we made it through this. So, yeah, what is Christmas to you? Like I said, so we're going to take stock, we're going to come back in January, we're going to rearrange the workshop, hopefully paint everything, because I've, <laughs> I've still had a few comments about the painting, we're going to paint everything and rearrange the, the tools, maybe build another workbench, um, Sort all of the timber and everything out. I've got, I need to pick up some new tools because things are dying typically when it's Christmas and I don't want to be spending any money in a workshop. Things are dying, but what can you do? So yeah, so it's the time for us to take stock and reassess our, not just our business plan, but our life plan, see where we're going to go this year, what we're going to do. It's a very difficult one to do this coming year because money's going to be tight. Business could be good, it could be slow. You don't know. I think our aim of the game for us is to make it through what is possibly going to be 12 to 18 months of rubbish um, because there's I I've because there's already people that are going under. Um, and so we're going to try and be there when, yeah, we're going to try and be there at the other end of it, I guess. That's that's what we need to do. Then um, you can see, I don't know, you can see where we are. I've got here, down to here. There's a bunch of ideas. We spitballed the other day, try and come up with some... Um, some things that we can build, some stuff that we can make. And obviously with tools breaking, we're trying to f like figure out our direction. Should we be spending money on those tools? Should we sell those tools and buy these tools? And how can we, yeah, how can we figure out a way around all of the upcoming problems? Because there are upcoming pro 
problems, right? Sorry, I just got a message. So yeah, so that's what it is for us. What is it for you? And how has your week been? You know, like I, uh, I don't know if I said, I'm tired. It's been a long week. It's been, mine has been ups and downs. The downs have been my responsibility, my fault. The ups have been my responsibility and I've been gutted about the downs and I haven't really paid attention to the ups as much as I should have done. However, I did kind of snap out of the other, snap out of it the other night. It was our daughter's last Christmas play. She's our youngest. She is um, uh, eleven. Coming up to eleven, she's ten. Yeah, eleven. And um, she's in year six. And uh, it was the last one. I was really sad. Like I know people hate. They absolutely hate going to school plays, but I love it. You know, I love seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. I love just the whole experience of it. And um, I probably went in there with a bit of a monk on, a bit of a Mardi on, because things hadn't been going well. And then I sat there and I was just like, wow, I really need to enjoy this, because this is the last, like, last kids' play we ever get to go to. Other than maybe grandkids and stuff, and oh, I'm too young to be thinking about that. Because, yeah, my kids are... One's at college, one's in year eight, and then the other one's coming up to going in year seven next year. So that, that was, uh, tell you what, that's the best part of my week going and doing that. I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. So what, uh, uh, yeah, so here you go. Look, tell me what the best part about your week was. Tell me how your week's been. Tell me what the worst part was and what the best part was. Try not to focus on the worst part. Focus on the best part. Let's try and be positive. Bring a bit of positivity to the world, eh? Because everything seems to be falling apart. Right, coming over to about seven or eight minutes. It's time for me to go. I think Michelle's going to be here soon. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to warm myself up by the fire because I'm cold. And then I'm going to go home. And I'm not going to have the weekend off because I'm going to come back tomorrow. But that's okay because I'm going to come back because I want to come back. So I'm going to embrace the sacrifice. I'm going to embrace the change. Embrace the work. That's what I'm going to do. I hope you'll have a beautiful evening. I hope you have a great weekend. And um, try not to stress too much about Christmas if you find it a bit difficult. Try not to stress too much about money this time of year or all of that. Because uh, in six months' time, we'll still be here. And this will be long forgotten. You know? It will be gone. So as much as we wanna, we're going to work ourselves up, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people struggling this Christmas. And um, I feel your pain. Remember, it's going to be over soon. And... If you're not going to be, if it's not, what is it I say, if it's not going to be in the forefront of your mind in six, eight, 12 weeks time without somebody reminding you of it, then you probably shouldn't be getting too worked up about it. All right. You'll have a great evening. You have a nice weekend to take it easy and I shall catch you next week. All right. Have fun. <laughs>